welcome to my tutorial on quadratic inequality or maths inequality as we say in banking examinations so uh, it is a very important topic for bank exams uh, as there are five easy scoring opportunity when you say um, about this topic okay so these are very easy questions only thing is people have confusion in marking the right option even though they are able to solve this so in any quadratic equation or quadratic inequality question we get two quadratic equation one in terms of x another in terms of y and we are expected to solve both the quadratic equation to get the two values of x two x and two y values so when we solve both the values x we are asked to relate the values between x and y and take the right answers which can be any of these right any options of these so first question how are we going to solve the quadratic equation there are two things right that we can make use of one is middle term split another thing is x equal to minus b plus minus root under b square minus 4ac by 2 with this long equation this long relation and i would suggest that use this and don't use this unless it's pretty straightforward so because the questions that are asked in that are being asked in bank examination these days involve bigger middle term values which are not easy to identify very quickly so use this yeah, okay uh, only thing is when you're using this you need to remember the values the squares of numbers squares of numbers from 1 to 31 so just remember the squares of number from 1 to 31 and you should be and the this is normally a, a square term right and the this is normally a value this would normally be a value from 1 to 31 and you would be easily you would be able to solve this for them for the different values of x so let us directly start solving i'll just erase this start solving our quadratic equation so what is our first quadratic equation our first equation is 2x squared plus or we'll use the middle term in between 18x plus 40 is equal to 0 we can use this as x square minus 9x plus 20 is equal to 0 so we we, we have our equation in the form of ax square plus bx minus c is equal to 0 and the relation that we have is x equal to minus b plus minus root under b square minus 4ac by 2a so we will plug in the values if you remember this particular thing it should be easy you don't need to write this relation separately uh, just for the sake of uh, explaining i will re relate it like this so what are the two values that we have got x equal to minus b b is this right if you compare this equation and this equation so x equal to minus b plus minus root under b square is 9 9 is 81 minus 4 into a into c that is 4 into 20 that is 80 by 2a by 2 that is 9 plus 1 10 by 2 and 9 minus 1 that is 8 by 2 so we have two values one is 5 one is 4 so we have two values of x which are 5 comma 4 okay and i'll just rub this okay so we have two values 5 comma 4 what are the two y values we will solve for y y square minus 13 y minus 42 is equal to 0 and then y equal to minus b plus minus root of b square 13 square 169 minus 4 into 42 168 divided by 2 which is 13 plus 1 14 by 2 and 13 minus 1 12 by 2 so 6 and 7 so we have got y values as 6 and 7 now we have got the values of x and we have got the value of, of y how do we relate this now people are tempted to relate it visually right they try to see okay x1 the both the x values are less than x so x, x should be less than y this is true in this case you can easily find out but in some questions we often find it very confusing so i will suggest use number line for this this is number line for this what are x values x is 5 and 4 right so th this is our x1 this is our x2 what are y values 6 and 7 so 6 
and 7 this is y1 and this is y2 so we know that all of y is greater than x from number 11 right right we know that all of y is greater than x not equal to so all of y is greater than x this is our true option there can be situations where relationship cannot be determined and that is where number line will help you immensely if you represent it here let us see try to solve our second question 4x is square equal to 16 so our first equation is x is square equal to 4 or x is equal to plus or minus 2 remember square coming here so it will be plus so when you have x square equal to 4 that will mean x equal to plus minus of root 4 so plus minus automatically comes when you transfer the square here so one value is plus one value is minus okay right so we have two x values here one is plus two one is minus two what are y values this is our equation so let us try to solve it very fast y equal to minus b plus minus root under b square is 100 minus 4 into 25 is again 100 divided by 2 which is 5 so we have only one value of y plus 5 right real and equal root that can come so we have y values and x values again let us try to use number line where are x x is minus 2 and x is plus 2 so x1 and x2 where are, where is y y is 5 so we can always see that y is greater than x right all our y's is towards the right of x so y is greater than x easy enough let us try to solve this particular question x square minus 5x plus 6 so x is equal to minus b plus minus root of b square 25 minus 6 4 is a 24 i'm using the same formula right so that is 5 plus minus 1 by 2 that is 6 by 2 so one value is 6 by 2 other values 4 by 2 so 2 and 3 so our two values are 3 and 2 right now what what is our, the y value that we have got y equal to minus b plus minus root in a b square minus 4 ac minus minus plus 4 4 is a 16 divided by 2a 3 plus minus 25 that is plus minus 5 by 2 8 by 2 is 4 and 3 and minus minus of 2 by 2 is minus of 1 so we have got these two values i hope this is right okay yeah this is right 4 and minus 1 how how should we relate this we will again draw a number line what are x1 and x2 3 and 2 we draw a number line right two should be left out in this is our x1 this is our x2 where is what are y values 4 and 1 where is 4 4 is here y1 where is 1 okay minus 1 where is minus 1 here this is y2 now what can you see from this particular um, number line diagram we know that um, some y is greater than x some y is less than x so there's no definite conclusion that y is greater than or, or less than it can be greater than or can be less than so relationship is basically cannot be determined why if if you take y4 you can always take y3 so in that case if y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 3 that case y is greater than 3 sorry y is greater than x what if you take y as minus 1 what if you are given y as minus 1 and x as 2 in that case y is less than x so basically y is less than or greater than x it cannot be determined right now this is a tricky question that people often fall for the, this kind of question let us see how uh, x square is equal to 625 so as i said right x should be equal to plus and minus of 625 that will mean x equal to plus or minus of 25 so we have two values of x one is plus 25 one is minus 25 quickly on number line we will draw plus 25 and minus 25 this is x1 and this is our x2 what is y y is not plus or minus because we have not shifted square here it is given that it is plus we cannot take minus here it is always plus so y is plus 25 we, we have not got it as minus so here y is plus 25 x2 comma y1 so we have plus 25 don't take the minus value of y y because here it's given as we have to take only plus had had it was it given like this 
we would have shifted a square to root with plus and minus. So remember the this guys, this is I mean they often ask these kinds of questions and people get it wrong. So here now let us try to establish the relationship. We can see that either y is equal to 25 or y is greater than right y is greater than some value of x and equal to some value of x. So we we know that y is greater than x when you see this and y is also equal to x and you see this so y is greater equal to x this is the true equation thank you very much